If your Android phone is running really slow, crashing, that seems weird, like something's going on that's not how Android intended your phone to be working, you may have some sort of virus or malware on your device. In this video, I'm going to show you how to defend your Android phone from viruses and malware, how to scan it, and just keep it safe so it's operating quickly, efficiently, etc. So the first thing to do is to consider a third-party app for scanning malware and viruses on your device. We recommend Bitdefender. Bitdefender has a free version and then paid versions, like most of these apps. Our article also links to other apps that you can use. Bitdefender can be found on the Google Play Store. You can just, I've downloaded it already. You click open and I've scanned my device and it says it's clean, so I'm feeling good. After you've done that scan, if you want to scan it again in the future, you're noticing more issues, you just open it up and you click start scan. The software will scan through all the apps on your device. Usually the bad app that is causing your phone to go slow, crash, you know, whatever. Maybe someone's even spying on you, but this is one way to prevent that. So first, install a third-party app like Bitdefender. You may also be asking, hey, doesn't Google or Android have a built-in malware or virus scanner on the phone? Yeah, they do. So there, it's called Google Play Protect. So I also recommend using Google Play Protect to scan your phone as well. It's not perfect, but if you use Play Protect plus Bitdefender or another third-party app, you're probably covered from most risks. To access Google Play Protect and just check in on your phone, scan it, you're gonna go into your settings on your Android phone, and then you'll go under security and privacy. So scroll down to security and privacy, and within security and privacy, you then click on app security. So once you're in app security, this is Google Play Protect. Google Play Protect regularly scans your device. It says here it was just scanned yesterday. So it's an automated thing just to keep your device secure. Another way to safeguard your phone is to make sure you're not downloading and installing apps from places other than the Google Play Store. The Google Play Store. So on Android, it's possible to download apps that have malware and viruses and are not available on the Play Store. The reason the Play Store is more secure is because Google's put in strict standards and checks for things like that. But if you're downloading them from a third-party website, you may have just downloaded malware or a virus on your phone. So if you do have apps you've downloaded from somewhere other than the Google Play Store, you may want to just log in, delete those, and then see if that fixes the problem right there. So what's the difference between malware and a virus anywhere? Anyway, think of malware as like the umbrella term and that a virus is a subcategory within that. Um, so a virus clones itself and spreads throughout your system, but malware, that can be other things uh, beyond just a virus. Some other helpful tips for protecting your phone against viruses, malware, etc. Um, are to make sure you're using a PIN or a password um, on your phone. Don't leave your device unlocked. Also, there are password saving options built right into Chrome and other things. It may be wise not to always be using those because if someone gets access to your device, they'll then have access to all of your passwords. So you may want to turn that off too. There are different security measures, such as if you see a text or email with a link in it, you don't know who it's from, don't just download and click on anything. You can just be downloading a virus right onto your device. Lastly, the question may come up, is it possible to have your phone so infected by a virus that it's just useless that you have to go buy a new one? Well, Hopefully not. The answer is probably not, actually. So if you factory reset your phone completely, um, you're probably going to be okay. If you can remove all those third-party apps, scan it using a third-party scanner, also the Google Play Protect, and then factory reset, your phone will probably be okay. If it's not, you may have to buy a new phone, but that's like an extreme case. Hopefully that's not your situation. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope your phone can get moving faster. You can get rid of any malware or viruses on there. Um, we have more information on this in our article. Make sure if you like this video to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.